This should be fine. All right, uh, so we played quite a bit of this already, and uh, we're going to see where it goes. I want to continue this shit, because uh, I just don't... You know what's funny? Oh, so here's where we here's where we left off. Um, I got through this scene... Ugh, I got through this scene uh, a decent amount before we ended last time, but we'll just do this scene again. Um... There's a lot of people on the uh, playthrough channel that are really fucking eager and anxious for more parts of this shit to come out. It's been coming out consistently, like every three days or whatever, uh, each part, because there's other series on the channel too, but um, a lot of people really want this to keep going, so I'm just going to keep playing it and uh, see how quickly I can get through it just so that parts are ready to upload and shit. All right, that's why you got to take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Ha ha ha, right? You don't talk, talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn how to throw a punch. We can, can't can have no sense of humor about this shit. You know what? I want to... I could have fucking sworn I changed my Steam um, settings so that so that it didn't do that. I know you guys could see that right there. So let me just change my Steam settings right now so that it doesn't alert me whenever someone's playing a game. Uh, let's see. Steam, settings, friends. When a friend joins a game. Yeah. What? I thought I already changed this shit before. Dis yeah, I don't want messages to show up either. For group events and announcements? No, I don't want any notifications if I'm capturing like this. Um, okay. All right. I think that fixed it. Let me just double fucking check that my settings are... Okay. Maybe that... Uh, I think I changed it on another computer is what happened. So, anyway, back to the game. I wonder why I didn't save. Mace works too. Mace against fish is... Haha. <coughs> <coughs> ha. Hey! Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys! What the? F oh, okay. That notification was for something that I was downloading. Never mind. I was about to say, what the hell? Am I into orcs? Um, that one orc from the Hobbit movie. He was in part one. He might have been in part two and three. I don't remember because those movies were so forgettable. Uh, I think he was in part one. There was a there was an orc in the Hobbit movie who was super fucking buff. That was really attractive for me. Um, otherwise, most of them from Lord of the Rings were not that attractive. They were, like, really muddy and unclean. But there was an orc in the Hobbit movies that w was, like, pretty fucking sleek, you know. They seem nice! This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? I stopped watching The Walking Dead a long time ago. Well, I hope somebody gets the door. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Ooh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance, I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. 
with an eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, what, what, what? Uh, twerk that shit. Oh, uh, fuck my butt. Ah! Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Hey, rap. Oh, nice. Dancing is easy, what's the big fuss? Look at these guys. You know what's funny is like, compare the dancing in this game to the dancing in Life is Strange. <laughs> like before the storm part one especially, or any of them. I remember back at the the party at uh, the high school or whatever in Life is Strange, the first game, there were cringy ass fucking dancers there. This is playful, you know? This is simple. They're just silhouettes, you know? Hey, B! Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey! Your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. I hope I get to go to the right again, because I remember when I was playing this the other, or last week, there was a dude who wanted to fuck me or whatever. I hope I get to go back to him. Yeah, haha. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit? Yeah, yeah, sick transit, Gloria nerd. Ha ha ha. You're laughing a lot. Ha ha ha. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Ha ha. Well, a book you liked? I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me before he got dementia and died. Ha ha ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Ha 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 ha. May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. My house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Ha <laughs> ha, whoa, whoa. Check out rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's farm, y firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Ha ha ha. May, do you want to dance some more? Nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? <laughs> yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. It's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha, May no. What is what even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha 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 ha. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I actually r basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? 
Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... Ha ha ha. Oh no! I ruined her! B, wait! What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, I can't talk to the dude who wants to fuck! I ruined it! I wonder if that'll affect anything. I wonder if that'll not open up, like, a conversation later. Fuck! I'll just do this again real quick. Do you know... Ugh, I don't trust anyone. I'll just... I'll just skip all the dialogue. Sorry. Damn it. That sucks. I just want to know if it opens more options later. Is the audio still fine? Do you get game audio right now? I know last time. It was weird. Alright, skip, skip, skip. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oi, 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 oi. Bow, down, 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 uh, bye, boys. Uh, uh. Speed run! Alright, dance time. Hey, uh, wah, wah, huh, huh, uh, 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 hey. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed Oh She was looking kinda dumb with the finger and her thumb In the shape of an L on her forehead Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming Bet to the rules and hit the ground running Didn't make sense not to live for fun Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb So much to do, so much to see What's wrong with taking the back streets You never know if you don't go you never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. So one, get paid. All their glitters go. Only shooting stars break the mo. Whoa. Is Andy Worski building an ethno state or what? Nobody's taking on a lot of guests who seem to want to be doing that. <laughs> all right. Who this boy? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski. Borowski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Whoa. So what's your story, May Borowski? Let's try this one. I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires, and I play bass. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Nothing special about it? Got it for my 16th birthday. It's got my blood on it. Is that a problem? With the vampires? Yeah, they totally covet that shit. That's pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> I guess... I guess I'm just... I'm so used to awesome stuff that I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh, really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. Oh, this part was fucking tough. Hey, I did it! Hey! Oh wow! Secret handshake. Wow! 
<laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Browski. Haha. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mmm, okay. Need to tell friend location. Haha. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. I forget this person. Psst. Hey there. Why is Kitten focuses not on all the witches is lost, but all that remains? Yeah. I remember this. Okay. Have a good one. Oops. Gotta fix my chat for a second. Boom, boom, All right, now see how quickly we can do this. I bet it'll, I bet it'll turn into the same thing even if I don't uh, choose any real options. If I just go with the first one. Hmm. I'm so happy that, uh... I found, uh... LaCroix in Canada. It's been in the States for so long. And now it's in Canada, I'm so happy. It's really good. Yeah, I have no interest in the Super Bowl, honestly. Most sports thing. Basically the same. Bah! I ruined her. Sorry, B. All right, now to continue. Do I know the guy Andy Worski has co-hosting his streams, Jean-Francois JF or whatever? Yeah. Um... I'm only really aware of him from those streams, and the only other time I've, like, seen any sort of content from him was when he did narration for a Mouthy Buddha video in which he was explaining race realism, and he made it sound, like, not as bad as it could be, you know, where he's like, oh, race realism is just the acknowledgement that race exists, but he wasn't, like, phrasing it in a way where there was any implication of, of, like, that some races are superior and inferior. He was just saying that there's differences. And I'm like, okay, I can get behind that. But then there's some other videos on Mouthy Buddha's channel that are just, like, really, really uh, not good. <laughs> um... But, I don't know. Like, I've noticed... If there's one thing I've noticed about JF, just from the streams on Worski, is that, like... I don't know if he's trying to be a moderator or not. Um, I don't know if he's trying to be... impartial in any way, because it really just doesn't seem like it. It seems like... whenever there's someone debating... a white supremacist or... Um, ethno-state advocate or alt-writer, there'll be points in the conversation where both are misinterpreting each other, like, not simultaneously necessarily, but, but at different points. And whenever the alt-right alt-writer misinterprets the point or the question that the person debating them is asking uh or stating jf doesn't say anything 
But then whenever whenever the person debating them misinterprets in any way what the alt writer is saying, JF is really quick to step in and and correct them. But never in the opposite direction. It's it seems incredibly one-sided and that's it's interesting to say the least and I just don't I I guess I'm just confused as to whether or not he's even pretending at all to be impartial on those streams or not. That's kind of that's kind of what uh I'm confused about. Oh yeah, he it's like I mean at first when I saw him do that, I thought like, okay, well, he's just trying to be fair. But then when I saw him only doing it in one direction and not the other, then it's like, okay, well, it seems like you have more of a uh, political preference towards the alt-right than those debating the alt-right. Um, I just... That's what it seems like to me, at least. I could be wrong, but I mean, like, I've, wa I've watched a decent amount of those streams. I've watched, like, probably a good like 10 plus hours worth of those streams since the whole Richard Spencer one. Um, bleh. Anyway. Um, Blue Sir, I'm enjoying it very much. What did you do? I was going to ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her... I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm going to go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her. Make sure she's okay and meet back here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, God, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs can get the, to the river quick on the roofs. Oops. Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over with your damn head. I love that nodding animation right now. <coughs> Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Hell yeah. This is cool. What did I think of the Richard versus uh, Sargon debate? Um, shit. I wonder if I could have gotten up there. Um, I mean, Sargon had better points. I can understand why people thought that Spencer won, quote-unquote, won that debate. Um... He played it calmer. He, like, probably didn't interrupt as much. But, I mean, the position that Spencer has is objectively worse. <laughs> you know, like, object... Like, okay, let's put morals aside. It's stupid. He has a stupid position. You know, like, I can't believe people aren't calling him out for the fucking... The point where Richard Spencer literally admitted, like, Oh, yeah, censorship is fine as long as I'm the one doing it. Like, he's totally utilizing free speech in order to spread his shitty message that tons of people disagree with. And the only reason he's able to is because of free speech. But he's like, oh yeah, in the ethno state, we wouldn't have 
free speech. We would want to censor people that, you know, have ideas that we disagree with. And it's just like, what kind of a fucking hypocrite are you? Like, you're so unprincipled. You know, like, morality aside, you're fucking... Ow! <laughs> wow. I think I died. Morality aside, like, that's just... That's... That's not... A productive or logical way of of running a society you know like you don't believe in any kind of equality even for people of your own race like if somebody has an idea you don't like you want to censor that and then his whole fucking thing of like it's just like the ethno state is just a, an objectively stupid idea even if even if you believe that races don't get along together you know even if you believe that, it's still stupid. It's impractical. You know, the people of races other than white people have every right to live in America as you do. And I'm not even talking about, you know, the refugee crisis. I'm talking about people who currently live there. Like, if we stopped all immigration, it wouldn't, it wouldn't create your ethno state, you know? If we stopped all immigration right now, you to create your ethno state, you would need to deport people, right? And so that's like it's the 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 amount of sheer dishonesty that they have when they say, "Oh yeah, we can we can create this ethno state in a non-violent way." You think People of other races are going to want to just fucking leave? Like, oh yeah, we can provide some, you know, tax financial incentive. No, you're not going to! Do you know what? You, are you so naive that you don't think that there will be people who will literally just stay out of principle or will want to stay out of principle? You know, you know for a fucking fact that what you're suggesting is going to wind up in a violent way. Not just violent, deaths. You understand that fucking fully, and you are lying to people when you when you fucking pretend like, oh yeah, uh, we can do this in a non-violent way. It's not what I'm suggesting isn't inherently violent. Oh fucking Christ, that is so fucking dishonest. Oh my God. Sorry, B, there you are. Are you all right? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. You could have been mugged or something all over some idiot guy. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Ha ha ha. This is so freaking sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life! No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment and my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left for, of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. 
Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. Ha ha ha. Oh god. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. <laughs> So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we're stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, um, is this just... What's the word? Proximity? Yeah! I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something. It keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life, Beatrice. Thanks. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am, like, more embarrassing than you ever will be. You were, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? This super cute girl I met at the party? See? Okay, apparently that was a girl. Um, look, it changed. I'm glad I went back. Because it changed some shit. <coughs> we did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Yeah, and somebody in the chat was trying to convince me that nothing changes. And you're a fucking liar, and I'm glad I didn't trust you. <laughs> okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. You know, in Life is Strange, it doesn't even do that. You know? It doesn't... It... It feels... Whenever I play Life is Strange, it, it, it like, the, the conversations don't even really add any extra dialogue or any extra, you know, details. You know, just extra bits of effort. That doesn't happen in Life is Strange. It happens very rarely. Best Available Friend Achievement. Hell yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. Subhype, who did it? I don't know who did it. 
My Twitch app doesn't tell me. I'm so sorry. I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but, like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with Mom. Kidding, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah, money problems make everything worse, I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold a jo down a job. And how am I ever going to survive and, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. John Pariah, thanks. Malloy! Carbo! Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! <laughs> oh, whoa! Why, Carbo, do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time, slut. Hey, yo, why? These are the big questions, Jarbo. Garbo. <laughs> Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church goer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as we went along. Oh, so we all think there's a God, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks? Yeah, you could, Molloy. But it would be... A whopper! <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Bye, Dad. Forever. What's up? Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really, that's really nice, May. That you did that. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go anyway. You'll be, you'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Hey, kid. We went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. All in all, I'd party again. We need to do to do more parties. <laughs> You're very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. I don't want to do Demon Tower. Whoever beats Demon Tower, I mean... I'll watch it on YouTube. Bedtime! Yeah. All right, I'm going to see what happens if I put my twit. Oh, there was no nightmare sequence. Because I met God already. I'm gonna see what happens if I, uh. Oh. Maybe, maybe my Twitch app chat will work better if I'm doing it on my, uh. N my better phone. Because I'm just, you know. Sorry, the audio. Because I was, I've always been doing Twitch chat on my old phone that doesn't even have a plan, sort of thing. Um, and it seems like the app's much newer, like, an, a more updated on, uh, 
I want to... Why won't it? Oh. Auto rotate. There we go. I always accidentally hit so many buttons on my phone. Come on. Why? What the fuck? Why is it like, why does it give me so much less? I guess it's about the same. It feels like it gives me less chat on my screen, but whatever. Alright, I'm just gonna see what happens if we use this phone instead. I might just like try to get rid of this old phone. I don't know. I don't know. This might work better. If somebody subscribes and I see it here, then that means this app version is better. So quick, somebody subscribe! So I can test it out! Hey! Okay. Hey kid! Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Ooh, pickaxe. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, you know what's terrible? On this new version of the app, the links aren't clickable. So it's already not... What the? Why does the, why does the Twitch app just fucking suck no matter what, you know? How do I... Just give me one second while I figure this shit out. I'm so sorry. Chat. Well, this gives more room in the chat. Let's see. Yeah, green grass planet. It's just, yeah, that's, you, you're trolling. It's, if, if, if there's white countries that have just never immigrated any other race and they want to have their ethno state, Fine, have at it, you know. Japan Japan doesn't like a lot of immigration either. I don't think it's it's not like, oh, I only think it's wrong when white people do it. I think it's whatever. If you don't want it, if you don't want people immigrating, that's fine. It's an issue when you already have so many other races in your country to then say I want an ethno state. That's where the fucking issue comes in because those people already live there and they have every right to be there as you do. Okay. Yeah, now links aren't clickable with this, so I can't uh, justify using the uh... can't justify using the other uh, app unless there's some setting to change it to clickable links, you know. So whatever, it was worth a shot at least. Sorry, everybody. Jeez, feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Yeah, see, I now I'm on my old phone. I can click on click on the yifs. See, that's fine. Is that um, Brooklyn from Gargoyles? I don't even remember the show, but I've seen lots of porn of him. All right. Um. Hi, Mom. Oops. Good morning! There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hun. i I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. 
And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, ke I keep thinking about the money problems in the house, and I'm just so sorry. You, we, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't a, such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really, we'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. <coughs> What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Okay, hun. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Hey. Ow. Keep the I keep the really good prescription med, uh, headache medication on my meds on my nightstand. I can give you I can like give you half of one. Now I know what I know what open up the pop up chat link on the phone and bypass the Twitch app. Oh, I wonder. Okay, let's try this. Like, do it in Chrome. Can I have it sideways? Okay, this might work, I guess. And then I'll be able to see subs, I guess. Okay, so I can continue using the old uh, phone thing. I can see less of the screen, unfortunately. I, I don't see as much of the chat. I wonder if there's a... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Sorry I'm for me and trying to fix the shit. I mean Yeah, I can, blue sir. Um settings. No. Damn it. I wonder if it's just better that I, uh... Tilt my phone... Or have my phone, uh... Right side up. Ow! Sorry, I dropped it. Alright, I'll try it like this for a bit, I guess. I just have my phone... Right side up. Honey, you're, you know, short? Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. Can I actually go get meds? Hey, bird. Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Okay, so I saw the sub, at least. Thank you, Big Fat Man 873. I appreciate it very much. 22 months in a row. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I could get meds. I was just curious. Bye.
Oh shit, they're telling me to stop. Mate, get down from those power lines! Oh fuck! Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely! <coughs> Arm belonged to a middle-aged man, and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa! That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't it, wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Nice. Have a nice evening, May. That's funny. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice! Thanks, I'm feeling festive. Fuck you. You suck. Thank you, the zoo man. One, two, three. What was my favorite cartoon growing up? Pokemon. Depends what age, I guess. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Pokemon! You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah! I'm excited! Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost! Right. Why does nobody believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello, and me saying, hey, I've verified that you were a dead person? Could be a zombie or Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. <coughs> this episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. The Park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. 
I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly, some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Well, we'll hit my old scout cap on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going th before things get dark. Or sorry, better get going before it gets dark. Puff, puff. You all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. <laughs> Didn't you run across country back in junior high? Yeah, but I never finished a race. Why'd you keep doing it? I have no idea. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. Like, you like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. No way! I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome! That's history! Okay, I'm ready to go. Puff, puff. Woo! Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Huff, huff. So if this place was underwater, why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But if there, but there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Puff, puff, puff. Wheeze. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> puff, puff. Seriously, it's fine. Hang on for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime puff stone. I was going to take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast, I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die, like, in, like, five minutes. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes the, the most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. 
Weird, used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That labor, that like labor strike thing, where it was like the Miners versus National Guard, happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why were they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from... Ah! Excuse me. From like... Ah! Colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Yeah, just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Ah! And suicide! Nope. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what are we supposed to wait up? So what, are we supposed to wait up here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait up here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah, back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff? I wish, I can never remember them other than, I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we all, we all, we were all at that longest night bonfire? <coughs> and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them that's not a thing that happened oh wow maybe it was like a dream or something god I barely remember now I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up okay humor me I'll find the constellations you tell me about them okay then nice when you typed SFW White Tiger. I read it as SJW White Tiger. <laughs> Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember, or dreamed at one time. Ah, Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on the roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. I wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> ah. Is there a wrong? Oh, I guess there is. Yeah, it won't let me. It won't let me draw it wrong. Okay, that was lame. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck. What's the point of even tracing at that point? It's a Pope! He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello! There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we've never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Thank you, Chris12304, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Does she mind? She pretends not to.
<laughs> it's a whale! And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made this up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space! I guess it's dumb to get mad at Asian people. Or is it? Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's a... I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings and it, when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough and it's kind of always looking at us, right? God damn! It's a cat! He's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He, uh, he lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god. Yeah... No? Uh, it was a whole bunch of stories. There was this person from... Adina and... Oh, yeah, Adina and the Frozen Lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny, shiny things was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, she like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now, huh? <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at, at, at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd, like, try to develop psychic powers so I could, like, signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing? Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You're a kid! Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where where he is or even, or if he's even alive. If he's alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I want to give you a hug forever. Haha, <laughs> well, 
I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't, like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science, and I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. It gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk, or no, I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in a God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like, the constellations... I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I uh, believe that stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between our stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns and, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe a universe that doesn't care and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found think they found God, but, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did? God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep! I should come out here more often. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit! Holy shit! What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god! It's the ghost! I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god! Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! Mate, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But you're asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Roar! Oh, fuck! <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So, that was it! That was the ghost! Or... <coughs> it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get little lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up... Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Why does Nub... Whoa. Ah! May? Ah! What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Ugh, my head, jeez, ugh. Okay, well, let's get you home. No! Need to talk to everyone tonight! What? All of us! I need all of us! Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost following me! Like, it keeps showing up when we go out to, like, investigate it. 
or all of those times it could have just been a random person. No, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. <coughs> yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines and May. You've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Th thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up there alone at night. Close enough. All right. Let's hunt some ghosts.